Now what could eating have to do with improving the film finish on one of your woodworking projects? Stick around and find out. RC from Mount Top Joiner Shop here sharing a tip, or should I say hack? I think everything these days is a hack. Such as the power of the social media influencer, resistance is futile. Sharing a hack with you about how to smooth out a film finish. Now, if you're like me and you work in a garage shop, garage shops tend to be a dusty place. If you're hand finishing indoors, then you're liable to get dust nipped in your finish. Also, if you're like me, uh, if you use an HBLP gun uh, and you don't have a dedicated spray booth, you're probably spraying in a great out of doors. A great out of doors can be a dusty place as well. Also, I happen to be in a very dry, hot environment when I do a lot of my spraying. And despite my best efforts, I get some of what we call dry spray. Um, without getting too far into it, dry spray just basically means that the texture of the finish is a little bit sandpapery, or a lot sandpapery as the case may be. Um, now when I spray finish, um, I do get a very slight sandpapery texture to the finish. And there are multiple ways I could go about addressing that. One of them is steel wool. If you use a fine steel wool, however, um, you can dull the finish. Uh, it also has uh, these kind of like fine filaments that can kind of get stuck in all the little nooks and crannies of your piece and then you're stuck dealing with that. Another thing you could do is a, a, just a very fine sandpaper. Those aren't as easy to find in a typical hardware store and they also can get quite pricey after a while. So I ended up coming up with a solution that works really well for me and I figured I would uh, share that and see if it helps you out as well. All right, you ready for this? It's super simple and cheap. All you're going to need is a pair of scissors and some paperboard food packaging. I use cereal boxes. It doesn't have to be honey bunches of oats, whatever your favorite is. And then you just cut a square out of that. Like so, I'm avoiding any like chunks of glue or whatever that might be on the box. Or any little bits that stick up. Now, the texture of this is such that it can kind of abrade very lightly and also kind of burnish the finish at the same time. It'll knock down a sandpapery finish or any little dust nips you have in your finish pretty easily. And it's such a fine texture that it won't uh, leave behind like a powdery residue or change the sheen of your finish really at all. You can have at it pretty good with this. Um, any, you know, any flat spot is going to do pretty easily because it starts out flat in the first place, but there's enough flexibility there. It also follows curves pretty easily. It can also be adapted to do finer details. So say I'm trying to get into a, a smaller part of my piece, well you just cut out a smaller piece of the paperboard. And it doesn't have to be much more than the width of your finger. And if your finger will fit into a given spot, then it'll smooth out just fine. If I'm trying to get into an area that has like this here, has a little bit of curve to it, well, then I can just cut a little curve into the, the shape of the paperboard, and I can fit that right into the corner really easily. Another nice thing about this is that it's uh, such a fine texture that it is really hard to overdo this. You can find a, you know, like say you encounter a problem area uh, in your finish, you can have at it for quite some time and not really dull the finish or leave a powdery residue behind. You just kind of keep going until you get there. Something like this obviously is quite cheap. You just pull it out of the recycle bin and you can see the size of the cereal box. I can go like this for quite some time and not run out. I'm sure it needs going around hunting for fine grit sandpaper or dealing with some of the problems you might encounter with steel wool. So I think that tip uh, certainly saved my bacon in days gone by. So I hope you get something out of that. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Now, if you like what you saw here, please hit like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Also, hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video. And if you didn't like what you saw here, keep it to yourself, pal. Or check out one of my other videos. You might like one of those. Thank you for watching.